Let's make sure we're not the ones to make that possible. Did you accuse Oppenheimer of sabotaging the development of the super? I was never one of those to bandy around terms. Mr. Nichols have given him access to the file or someone else at the AEC. That's a very serious accusation, sir. Is it your intention to suggest that Dr. Oppenheimer is disloyal to the United States? I've always assumed and still assume that he's loyal to the United States. Mm. I believe this and I shall believe it until I see very conclusive. Hitler is dead. It's true. With the Japanese fight on. Their defeat seems assured. Not if you're a GI preparing to invade. We can't end this war. But how do we justify using this weapon on human beings? <laughs> We're theorists. Yes? Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. A peace space. This the theoretically. Kind of What he really needs to justify somehow. Progress? What he's building, that he's building really a mass murder weapon. We're all free deliveries. Everyone, folks, head down. Yes. That's the one. Two viable bombs. September, July. That's the sweet spot, gentlemen. In July, but I need my brother. Out of my heart, three-person God. What? I knew my brother could be trusted. Absolutely. And you felt your judgment was sound on who on the team could be trusted. Folks, head down. Okay. Everybody ready? And, and look how the sound I hope you learned something. Reached uh, we learned later. we're need to be a lot further away. Well, figure it out. Fast. You're a long way from Chicago, Leo. If we don't act now, they're going to use this thing against Japan. We booked a meeting with Truman, but somebody killed it. You are meeting the Secretary of War. Just because we're building it doesn't mean we get to decide how it's used. <laughs> History will judge us, Robert. Germany is defeated. Japan's not going to hold out alone. How could you know that? You got us into this. You and Einstein with your letter to Roosevelt saying we could build a bomb. I guess Germany. That's it. The firestorm in Tokyo killed 100,000 people, mostly civilians. I worry about an America where we do these things and no one protests. Pearl Harbor and deadly neutron effects for a mile in all directions from one single device dropped from a barely noticed B-29, the atomic bomb will be. Is there no way to demonstrate a bomb to Japan to provoke surrender? We intend to demonstrate it in the most unambiguous terms, twice, once. To the use of the atomic bomb on Japanese cities will save lives. If we retain moral advantage. <laughs> How so? Well, if we use this weapon without informing our allies, they'll see it as a threat. Can you give us a working bomb by then? <laughs> Absolutely. We will test fire before the conference. Uh, Is this how it's supposed to look? I have no idea this is what I was also wondering. I think that should be the bomb. Where do we trigger from? It is the bomb, but I'm not sure if the real bomb looks like this. Probably. Probably they made it pretty real. So I'll be here at South Observation Point with Frank and Kistiakowski. You'll all be assigned to... Wow. Oh, staying so close to that thing. Makes me feel bad. Ah, oh, careful with this man. Now what they put that thing inside and what that's what, they that's what they're supposed to make the reaction. Good touch. 
doing. Oh, this music. Yeah, it makes me so nervous. <laughs> so nervous and anxious. <laughs> I'm Okay, they have a weird connection. Weird but intelligent somehow connection. Mm. I don't know, Kitty seems pretty intelligent. Yeah, she is kind of really... She knows Devoted what... to the science. Yeah, well. she's a biologist. She knows what's happening. Implosion lenses will work. If we fire these detonators and they don't trigger a reaction, two years worth of plutonium will be scattered across white sands. A month of four thousand people, two billion dollars. Oh, so it doesn't God. go off. We're both finished. <laughs> Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? <laughs> Nothing in our research over three years supports that conclusion, except it's the most remote. Possibility. How remote. He has Sense to say that zero. everything is uh, possible. Zero. If the detonators don't charge and the voltage drops below one volt, you hit that button, you abort. Understood? Understood. Two minutes to detonation. Everybody down! Oh my god, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's sweating in this moment. Oh my god. Uh, this <laughs> moment for everybody. No. Okay. It exploded. The silence. Crap. Yeah, the silence. The, the sound is gonna hit later, right? Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. Oh, oh my god. The anxiety. Whoa! Oh. Beautiful. It is. The fire is very beautiful. <laughs> Always. This looks huge! Oh my god, that silence is just like... The mushroom. The most dangerous mushroom in the world. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine, for example, how big is this, like... How many buildings, for example? How many kilometers the explosion is gonna... The destroyer of worlds. Mm. There it is. Oh. oh my god! Oh, the guy fell! Oh my god! It's gonna hit them too. <laughs> oh, I knew it and I <laughs> jumped again. Well, it's a success. It's a success, but I don't know if they should be happy or not really. Or more scared. They're going to be happy. <laughs> Well, oh my god. I'm speechless. I don't know. People genuinely should, should concentrate more in the things that help the world that in things that destroy that make massive destruction <laughs> mm. I think this was our biggest mistake that we were giving so much power to create something bad then. we'll take it from here Eh, that was really? it. Eh, like, uh, thank you, we don't need you anymore. We have the bomb already. 
Have you seen Sealoid's petition? Why the hell does Sealoid know about the Japanese? You're not signing it, are you? Many people are. A lot of people are. Edward, the fact that we built this bomb does not give us any more, any more right or responsibility to decide how it's used than anyone else. But they're the only people who know about it. <sighs> I've told Simpson that they're a call. It's only the fifth. <laughs> Japan, it's the sixth. Oh, he yeah. can't sleep. Knowing how many people would die of it. Yeah, it's a heavy burden, dude. But you knew it. And after all, you did it, so... Sorry, no sorry. Can't feel sorry for him. Anything? Yeah, I, I really understand him, how he's trying to justify all that and be like, oh, the worse we went. Mm -mm. The people won't understand just the theory, they need to see it. Give the... It is weird, it is weird, like how th oh, this is. It's okay that they made it, but... It's too soon to determine what the results of the bombing are. Oh, this is how he feels. Uh, I feel this like anxiety. I just wish we had it in time to use against the Germans. Oh, he's hallucinating. Oh, ah, uh, this. He's hallucinating that uh, people here are exploding. Poor guy. Is, is this a, what is it? Like an ash. Looked like a shape of child. What the hell? Is it from, from alcohol? Um, from radiation. Father of the atomic bomb. How he's watching. Um, Dr. Oppenheimer, if what you say about the Soviets is true, we have to build up Los Alamos, not shut it down. I don't want to continue, Baker. Um, I feel that I have blood on my hands. You think anyone in Hiroshima or Nagasaki gives a shit who built the bomb? They care who dropped it. I did. You seem pretty happy. Hiroshima isn't about you. The president has such a light hand. Uh, Dr. Oppenheimer. Look at this. Ah! Uh -huh. Such a punchable face. All along with McCarthy on the rise, he knew he was vulnerable. His brother was blacklisted by every university in the country. Fuchs. Klaus Fuchs. Oh dear. You haven't heard. Klaus Fuchs, the British scientist that you put onto the implosion team at Los Alamos. Turns out he was... I was spying for the Soviets the whole time. I'm sorry. He was? He was the spy? Seems like About they set him up. About oh. Followed everywhere. I don't know. There's trash pick through. last straw for Robert's enemies. So he had to lose his security clearance. And with it, his credibility. But how could they do it? 
how could Borden get access to Oppenheimer's FBI file? Could it have been Nichols? No, I can't imagine. This was taken 31 days after the bombing. Oh, no. Virtually everyone in the street, for nearly a mile around, was instantly and seriously. There were many who thought themselves lucky, who climbed out of the ruins of their homes, only slightly injured. But they died anyway. They died days or weeks later from iridium like rays emitted. Crap. Hmm. Oh, with high radiation. Did you read this crap in the papers? A British physicist is saying the atomic bombing. <sighs> Which physicist? I think you knew him. Patrick Blackett. Ah. <laughs> you may not be wrong. Nobody knows what you believe. <laughs> Do you? Always been straws and you know it. Why won't you fight him? And what he's wiping his hands. It was a nickels. <gasps> who? And they'll have to be answered. Eh. Whoever passes them to McCarthy. <laughs> Oppenheimer's too slippery for that self-promoting clown. I've talked it over with Hoover. He'll hold McCarthy at bay while you We need a systematic destruction of Oppenheimer's credibility so he can never again speak on matters of national security. Then what? Tell Oppenheimer his security clearance must not be renewed. But offer him the chance. We're not convicted. Yeah. We're just denying. But sir, you're you're out of the shadows now. Yeah, that's why this has to work. Well. Teller's testifying this morning. That'll help. And then I'm sorry it's come to this, Robert. I think it's wrong. <laughs> really? I love how Kitty knew throw a glass at him. <laughs> yeah. But nobody listens to the women ever. Straws knows that you can't do that. You'd be accepting the charges. You'll lose your job. You this won't be a fair fight. During your interview with Boris Pash in 1943, did you refer You let my client sit here and potentially perjure himself, and all this time, you had a recording? Nobody told uh. your client to misrepresent his former answer. Misrepresent? It, it was 12 years ago. Can we hear this recording? You don't have the clearance, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> You're reading it into the... They've asked Lawrence. What did he say? He wasn't going to help them. But... But... Frost told him that you and Ruth Tolman have been having an affair for years. The whole time you lived with them in Pasadena, <laughs> he convinced Lawrence that Richard died of a broken heart. Just... Dr. Oppenheimer is a man of upstanding character. And he is loyal to the United States, to his friends, to the institutions of which he is part. Would you say that Dr. Oppenheimer was unalterably opposed to the H-bomb? No, he, he thought that a fusion program would come at the expense of our awfully good fission program. We have an A-bomb and a whole series of it. We have a whole series of super bombs. What more do you want? Mermaids. <laughs> But I've known Secretary Strauss for many years. We do know that Dr. Hill will be here after lunch. Mr. Chairman, our next scheduled witness, Dr. Lawrence, has apparently come down with colitis. <laughs> Dear Mr. Hoover, the purpose of this letter I'm, is I, to I, state... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if I could have... Uh, what is the purpose of the delay? You're simply going to read the letter. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, this is the first I've seen of this letter. I don't think I should be subject to cross-examination by you, Mr. Garrison. Mr. Doesn't Garrison, make any given sense that we on the board have all read the letter, wouldn't it be... It's so obvious it's all set up. Set up, yeah. It's like they don't have any rights. They purpose don't have any... The purpose of this letter any... is to state my yeah, opinion. Yeah, they're just to... Years of... To be burning on this chair. Hmm. Robert Oppenheimer is an agent of the oh, Soviet Union. Oh no, come on. Following conclusions are... 
The poor guy. Two. If he was, he could give them all the technology since the beginning and never give it to the United States because they could use that again. The, he already made it, they already use it, and now they're like, oh. I'm sorry, Robert. Is anyone ever going to tell the truth? Is this trial before or after the other one in the small room? I think this is before. But my thought is just because of the black and white. Thank you. It's anyway after to testify about the Louis war. Strauss, a man who has given years of service and he demonstrated against Dr. Oppenheimer. So Order. this is after. Order. This is up. This, yeah, this the happened before. Most scientists around this country. Dr. Hill, we've already heard that Mr. Straws did not bring the charges or participate in the hearings against Dr. Oppenheimer. The Oppenheimer matter was... Oppenheimer made mincemeat out of Straws' position on the shipment of isotopes to Norway, and Straws never forgave him this public humiliation. Mm. Another do you or do you not believe that Dr. Oppenheimer is a security risk? In a great number of cases, I've seen Dr. Oppenheimer act in a way which I want to see the vital interests of this country in hands which I understand better and therefore trust more. Under my interpretation of the Atomic Energy Act, which did not exist when I hired Dr. Oppenheimer in 1942, I would not clear him today uh, if I were on the commission. Good. Thank you, General. That is all. But I don't think I'd clear any of those guys. That's all. Yeah, if they decide that they're uh, that you're an enemy of the country, no matter they what they you. say, they will. Yeah, exactly. This close uh, hearing, it's absolutely. Do you they can do whatever they want. Only a fool. Or an adolescent presumes to know someone else's relationship, and you're neither, Lloyd. I would have protested against the tactics of the man who served, in fact, as the prosecuting counsel, a man appointed not by the board, but by Louis Strauss. Are you familiar with the fact your husband was making contributions to the Spanish Civil War as late as 1942? I knew that Robert gave money from time to time. Did you know this money was going into Communist Party channels? Don't you mean through having anything to do with the Communist Party? Because Robert never had anything to do with the Communist Party as such. I know he gave money to Spanish refugees. I know he took an intellectual interest in communist ideas. I left my country never to return. <gasps> you served your country well. If this is the reward she offers you, then perhaps you should turn your back on her. Aww. Oh, I He's so you. clever. Yes. Then tell them to go to hell. <laughs> Interestingly enough, it's no longer a confirmation hearing. It's now a trial. I don't know what Oppenheimer said during that day, but Einstein didn't even meet my eye. Oppenheimer knows how to manipulate his own. That will sell most. He prayed on the naive day of scientists who thought they could say how we used to work. I'm super curious what he said. He was that mm. naive himself. I hope we see. Yes. Oppenheimer wanted to own the atomic bomb. He wanted to be the man who moved the earth. He talks about putting the nuclear genie back in the bottle. Well, I'm here to tell you that I know. J. Robert Oppenheimer, if he could do it all over, he'd do it all the same. Most important man. Oh my god, through. how you can be That's that. not Please. true. It's totally not true. This is what this guy would. Yeah. How many were killed or injured? 70,000. 70,000, both Hiroshima and. Yes, but in the weeks oh. and years that followed... But he didn't drop the bombs, he just created them. He was very successful. And it is also alleged to have helped end the war. This is why you never need to work for the government ever! I hate them! Sorry. 
I understand you. If Japan had big enough for a thermonuclear weapon, would you have been opposed to the dropping of it? This is not a problem with which I was confronted. Well, I'm confronting you with it now, sir. It was all part of his plan. He wanted the glorious, insincere guilt. Would you have been opposed to the dropping of a thermonuclear weapon on Japan because of Morrow's... Oh, again, the anxiety. I was asked by the Secretary of War what the views of scientists were. I gave him the views against and the views for. You supported the dropping of the atom bomb and the GAC report that you co authored after the Soviet atomic test. If we did it, they would have to do it. Our efforts would only fuel their efforts just as it had with the atomic bomb. Just as it had with the atomic bomb, exactly. Where is the president now to say that he dropped it? The president is... I don't know if he's dead, but... Definitely president doesn't care and he will lie for anything to be clear. Mm. Bastard! Like them all. They're he all bastards. All pieces of shit. But we would tend to use any weapon we had. He Jay never intended to use that. I gave him exactly what he wanted to be remembered for trinity he should be thanking me this one well, obsessed with himself <laughs> do we still have enough votes or is the crowning moment of my career about to become the most public we have voted two to one to deny the renewal of your security clearance a full written opinion with a dissent from mr evans will be issued to the aec in the coming days that is all so what? He won't be anymore. Like. He can't win. He's not gonna. Undenied. Yeah. I'm afraid so, sir. All right. Who were the holdouts? Um, there were three, led by the junior senator from Massachusetts. Young guy trying to make a name for himself didn't like what you did to uh, Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. Hmm. <laughs> Kitty? Maybe they should just invite Oppenheimer instead. Maybe they <laughs> oh, will. this one's so annoying. I told you. He turned the scientists against me one by one, starting with Einstein. I told he didn't you. talk about you at all. Yeah. Really? Did you think about it? Yeah. His face was like, really? Something yeah. More important than me? <laughs> For what they have I'm pretty sure that they haven't talked about him at all. That would be really fun. But this is 100% that I'm pretty sure that... Ah, that's the moment here at this. You all thought that I had lost the ability to understand what had started. So, the award really wasn't for me, it was for all of you. Hmm? Kind of. Now it's your turn to deal with the consequences. Of your achievement. Oh, really nice. And one day, when they've punished you enough. <laughs> so many years. I turn the back, tell you all is forgiven. Uh, yeah. Just remember. This is. It won't be for you. He still hates everybody. <laughs> yes. Oh, her face. Kitty doesn't forgive. Help him. When I came to you with those calculations. Mm, I remember it well. What are this? <laughs> well, not exactly by the same math, but you kind of did. <laughs> what was he, he, what was he imagining? <laughs> Destroying the entire world. That's powerful. Oh. The thing that they're dealing with, it's too much powerful for humanity for humanity <laughs> yeah it's it's really it's 
really sad and really scary at the same time i've always been uh pretty afraid what will happen if um the people holding the biggest uh bombs what will happen if they are just like okay we we'll let it go we, we know that we die but you die also and it's like poof. Yeah, mm -hmm. push the button. And like, I think I saw an info that, oh, I'm having a little anxiety now when I'm speaking <laughs> about it. But uh, I think I uh, seen an information that uh, this atomic bomb in uh, Hiroshima was, if, if this atomic bomb at Hiroshima is like this cap big, like nowadays bomb is like this oh. big. Like compared by an image, uh -huh, okay. uh, the, the, what the world what uh, they have as a <clears throat> as a bomb that they could lift and, and imagine how many lives this thing took now imagine how many lives this could take like uh, they can destroy <laughs> a continent or or maybe this if it's if you are saying this is right probably something like this was go, the goal it will really fire up the atmosphere and then we will burn oh no this, this is not only the one if, if you no. destroy something like a continent or it's gonna cause all of the world uh such a trauma it's not gonna be like this continent will explode and yeah. no further it will go all around the globe this will be such a cataclysm i'm just getting goosebumps only by saying it i really don't want to be alive and experience such a thing because it's <sighs> making me really anxious and i can't i can't even ma imagine what people back in the days were thinking with this <sighs> The, the only point is why they actually used it. Because it's like what to show uh, everybody that how dangerous this is. It. But even if they show me, it's not that I can do anything. They need to show the physicians who uh, of the country who can explain it to the presidents and to the people who are actually yeah, in and the be power. like, don't use it because yes. this will do this and this and this. I don't know. I, I also don't. I know. just I don't hope know. that, uh, like people said, history has a um, like thing to repeat itself. I just mm. hope it doesn't repeat because repeating itself <laughs> it's not gonna be really really cool because now the if they let something like this in the world they will let something else in the world and it won't be better so, the movie was good though <laughs> yeah it was amazing i loved it a lot i really appreciate it actors head down <laughs> amazing My role was einstein I really love as, as the as an actor or because you like Einstein in general no, as an as the actor ah the actor like I'm it. okay with Einstein in general but it's not like I'm the best fan, the biggest fan of Einstein it's like but the actor was really nice I really enjoyed him nice I liked all of them I don't mm. all of them were just playing their roles really I nice and all of the effects mm -hmm. that uh, all of the. Um, the thing that make you the just the director knows how to give you this um vibe that open openheimer had it all the time mm. like this trembling of the picture and lifting up the volume yeah. in your in your ear just to feel it just lifted some anxiety inside mm. of me watching him and i think i felt and for a moment what he felt yeah i don't know i agree with you on that yeah ten, and, and ten also out of ten Mm -hmm. And also was really strong the silence. Yeah, when with the light, it was kind of I don't know the waiting of the sound. Yes, yes, really, yes. Really strong moment. Silence wow. can be strong. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for watching it with us, guys, and see you the next. See you the next. Bye, bye.